NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2020, Question 10. For Part A, we need to use the substitution x equals u squared plus 1 to show that the integral between 5 and 10 of 3 dx over x minus 1 times 3 plus 2 root x minus 1 equals the integral between p and q of 6 du over u times 3 plus 2 u, where p and q are positive constants to be found. So we've got that x equals u squared plus 1. If we differentiate with respect to u, we get dx by du equals 2u. Multiplying both sides by du gives us that dx equals 2u du. Now we need to change the bounds as well. So we've got 5 and 10. When x is equal to 5, we get that 5 is equal to u squared plus 1. So u squared must be 4, hence u is 2. When x is 10, we get that 10 is equal to u squared plus 1. Hence u squared must be equal to 9 and u is equal to 3. So we can now take our original integral, replace the 5 and the 10 with the 2 and the 3, replace dx with 2u du, and replace the x with u squared plus 1, giving us this. Now a bit of simplification, we've got the 3 times 2u on the top, which gives us 6u, and we've got plus 1 minus 1 in two places on the bottom, which will cancel each other out. So we get the integral between 2 and 3 of 6u du over u squared 3 plus 2 root u squared. Now we've got u top and bottom, so one of them can cancel out. And also on the bottom we've got root of u squared, which will just become u. So we end up with the integral between 2 and 3 of 6 du all over u times 3 plus 2u as required. Part b, hence using algebraic integration, show that our integral is equal to ln a where a is a rational constant to be found. Now, as this question says hence, we're going to use the first part of the question. So we're going to use the integral that we just found in part a. So the integral between 2 and 3 of 6 du all over u times 3 plus 2u. This is a fraction with two terms multiplying on the bottom. So to integrate this, we're going to need to use our partial fractions to convert this into two fractions. So we're going to set the fraction equal to a over u plus b over 3 plus 2u, and we're going to work out what a and b are. If we did some cross multiplication on the right hand side to change those two fractions back into one fraction, we would have to multiply the a by the 3 plus 2u, and we'd have to multiply the b by the u, and then this would all be equal to the numerator on the left, the 6. So we've got a times 3 plus 2u plus bu equals 6, if we rearrange this so that we've got numbers and multiples of u separately, we get that 3a plus brackets 2a plus b times u is equal to 6. This means that the 3a, that's the only place we can get this number from, so the 3a must be equal to 6. There are no u's on the right hand side, so the 2a plus b must be equal to u. Solving these, we get that a is equal to 2. Putting that into the 2a plus b equals 0, gives us 4 plus b equals 0, hence b must be negative 4. So we can now solve the integral between 2 and 3 of 2 over u minus 4 over 3 plus 2u with respect to u. We can just use integration by results now. If we've got a fraction over u integrating with respect to u, this is going to be our log natural, our ln. The first one's nice and easy, 2 over u just becomes ln u with the 2 at the beginning from the numerator. The right hand one's a little bit trickier, but just remember with our rule, the bit inside the ln stays the same. So we've got ln 3 plus 2u. If we were to differentiate that back, the 2 in front of the u would come out to multiply it by. So we've put a half at the beginning to cancel that out, and the 4 is still there from the numerator. Simplifying this gives us 2 ln u minus 2 ln 3 plus 2u, and our bounds are still 2 and 3. So let's substitute the 2 and the 3 in. First we put the 3 in, and then we take away the same thing with the 2 in. So we get 2 ln 3 minus 2 ln 3 plus 6, minus brackets 2 ln 2 minus 2 ln 3 plus 4. 
So 2ln3 minus 2ln9 minus brackets 2ln2 minus 2ln7. Now if we simplify this in pairs, we've got 2ln3 minus 2ln9. So using our rules of logarithms, ln3 minus ln9, the 3 and the 9 come within the same log, and we end up with 3 divided by 9, which is a third. So that becomes 2 ln a third. And by the same rule for the bracketed part, ln2 minus ln7 is the same as ln2 over 7. And we've still got that 2 in front. We've now got exactly the same thing again, two logs subtracting. So we're going to do a third divided by 2 sevenths. So we end up with 2 log natural 7 over 6. But look at the question. We need this in the form of log natural a without a multiple at the front. Well, another rule of logarithms is that our multiple can be brought inside the log as a power. So that 2 is going to end up squaring the 7 and the 6. So we end up with log natural 49 over 36. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.